Sing? Yeah. Do a play group every Friday. They sing the plans for the weekend, like doe a deer or something. No, I'm not singing. You fall for everything. He is so silly. This is because I had to go about Andy, isn't it? Grumpy keeps forgetting that you are a big girl with ears. Well, I am sorry, but... I'll speak to Diane again. Off he you go. He wants dealing with... Be good. She was really upset yesterday. And if you can't be good? Be careful. Oh, you're both ignoring me now. See ya. See ya. Come on. See if Mummy's heart's still beating. Can you hear? Can you hear? Is Mummy's heart still beating? Can I just say, you doctors are getting younger every year, aren't you? Brenda suggests that we take our time. We did have a bit of a late one last night, didn't we? Shh, not in front of the children. Oh, look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Come on, let's get your togs on, and then we'll parade through the village to playgroup. I was going to have a nice long bath. I'll do it on Monday. Fresh start. You're not still worried about seeing people, are you? I've seen loads. Yeah, but all in here. Come on, let's get dressed. Off we go. Don't worry, he's still in bed. I wish I was. I had a right night with Sarah. Not that I'm blaming it on Andy, but... Well, my dad isn't happy. None of us are. Oh, she's a bright kid. And seeing him crying like that... I know. I saw too much when I was little. It's not what I want for her. What do you suggest? Well, it's probably just as well we're going on holiday. You know, maybe by the time we get back. He's taking his medication. He's doing everything he's told. Yeah. I just don't want him on his own with her. Not as things stand. You look a mess, where are you off? Home. Pom? No, home. Hang on. What happened when you were looking after Sarah? Nothing. Well, she wasn't right when she got back. Will you stop shouting at me? I'm not. I need to get home. Well, I'm talking to you! Andy, give us a hand. He went that way. Upstairs? I don't know. Was he any brighter? Andy! I hope you haven't gone back to your pit, cos I could do with some help. Am I being too pull your socks up, do you think? I think you're doing everything you can to support him. And, well, you're a marvel. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Is it rent day? Tuesday. I was just supporting you. Here and work, I like Santry. You know, somewhere to hide. Now, Nicola, as your employer... Oh, no, no, I realise how that must have sounded, but I am on my day off. They're full of sugar, you know. No, I'm, I'm totally bummed up. I have a huge amount of respect for you and Natasha. Well, I'd never exploit you in any way. Glad to hear it. Oh, well, it's him. What? Then I'm not here. Diane. Jimmy. Mark. Jimmy. Oh, look, it's my birthing partner, leaving a trail of raisins all over the village. Is Hansel with you, or did you eat him and all? Mm -hmm. I'm only eating these because I'm constipated. Twice she's mentioned her bowels. You're constipated because you do nothing but sit on your backside, stuffing your face all day. <gasps> Apart from at work. Especially at work. She had your chicken pie yesterday. Yes. Oh, well, I wondered where that had gone. Oh, we slept in your bed and all. Uh-huh, uh -huh, Jimmy. At this rate, you're going to be 20 stone, borderline diabetic, with no idea how to get that kid out. The doctor takes it out. Huh. No, I'm having a cesarean. Well, babies don't always respect diary days. We are going back to antenatal classes. Do you understand? Yes. I meant her. Home. Okay. Sometimes you just have to be strict with them. Do you want to come through the back room and be strict with me for ten minutes? I mean, what sort of a bloke walks about like that, eh? A depressed one. Oh, barking. Hold on. Wasn't there a time, actually, hundreds of times when you've gone off the rails? No. Well, what about when that copper, Angie, died? That was years ago. Yeah, and this will be years ago in a few years' time. There's no way that I'm having Sarah growing up hating me because we bad-mouthed Andy and stopped her from seeing him. Who told you about Angie? What? Mum? Lisa? I don't know. But what I do know is that you hit rock bottom. Now, I've spoken to Diane and we've agreed that he shouldn't be on his own with her until he's on the mend. You're three steps behind, as usual. Do you actually need me? Yes. To be a granddad. Not to go around pointing your finger at people in the street. 
And I'll be appreciating wine next. Yes, yes, yes. We've crossed the T's and dotted the I's in 15 languages now. And Rodney's got all the orders made up. Yeah, thanks, Doug. So, you can go on your holiday. <laughs> well, you've got Mark here, night or day, if you need him. So, what if I'm busy? Like in the pub where I found you earlier? Or have you got some other occupation you haven't told me about? <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, Let's go then, shall we? Uh, what about the stuff that's near its sell-by date? Oh, well, just reduce it, flog it off. Or keep it yourself. Oh, thanks. Hey, send us a postcard, yeah. Surprise me while I'm away, yeah? I want some big ideas, OK? Bye. Will do. Bye. <laughs> Maybe we could shut the shop early and go home. That'd surprise her, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Was he like this at the factory? No, we did lay back. But he didn't have the fabulous Mrs Wilde for a boss then, did he? <laughs> I'm going to miss her. Have a gun, Red. been an absolute pleasure and I expect to see you all next month after Fountain's Abbey. What? Hey, <laughs> unhand my wife, sir. You sorted it over all the pie. How did I do? You were brilliant. Terry's always said how impressive it is watching you two in full flight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great pallies, Terry, except you could have been here half an hour ago. Oh, well, I saw the shadow bank turn up, so I decided to hide at home. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's invited us for a drink. Oh, when? Uh, this afternoon. Yeah, our shouts. I don't think so. Well, come on. Kids are taken care of. Jamie's covering in here. Yeah, it'll do you good to have some time. You've been funny. Oh, social time. Not time doing time. No, any road. Why don't you two come up to our flat? Well, with Jamie popping up every five minutes asking questions. That'll be nice and quiet in the pub. Yeah, go on. Ease yourself in on the afternoon shift before we go in all guns blazing at the weekend. It's a done deal, Viv. I'm not ready. You can fool me. They'll all be judging me. This isn't what I expected. Everyone said you were a proper butler. A, a, a proper butler. Look, the sooner you face him down, the sooner you can get on with your life. Do you think so? I know so. You're quite pussy, aren't you? Everything's labelled. Oh, yeah? And how would you know? I watched the fella stick the labels on. <laughs> Hello? Have you seen Andy? Uh, my dad did a while back. Everything all right? Any decent food or just usual healthy rubbish? All the pork scratchings you can eat. I'm sure he'll turn up. <laughs> oh, God. Who are you? I thought you were my... This is my house. 